I'm part of it, that I can see signs and wonders happen here. You know, right on top of this Batyville Hill, it's a lighthouse uh, to the nursing homes, you know, to the hospitals. Uh, and there's so many people. We see a lot of things going on. We're up in the phone rooms, and, you know, Dottie, and, and we got a lot of requests come in that we pray for, and the live people that go out. And one great thing about it, you know, God is here to bless us, and we're going all over the world with this gospel that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to another night of our spring telethon. We're so appreciative of all the help that has shown up here to help us tonight. And we appreciate you being tuned in and going to uh, be calling us. We just are believing that many of you that kind of, you kind of uh, put it off all week, say, oh, I'll do it the weekend. Well, this, this is Friday, so we hope that you'll remember and go ahead and call in. We have a lot of good help up here, and so uh, we want you to stay tuned. We're, we're only here now, remember, for two hours, not three. And so get your calls in so that they can read them and uh, uh, share, share that information. And, and Dottie's still wanting to paint more uh, flowers up there, fill in more colors. And so we're joking her about maybe promoting her her artistic ability when she gets them all filled. Uh, seriously, we do appreciate all of you that uh, have been pledging, have been sending in your pledges. That is just really nice. We, we got some today, and, uh, and I appreciate that, that you did. All right, uh, we have Edith, uh, Edith, uh, uh, Edith back with us tonight. Yes, and so Edith. Thank you, Mark. I'm glad to be back, and... Glad to know that God's still God. And uh, this is a special day. We were talking before we started, before we said our prayer and everything, what a special day it is. It did start our salvation. So uh, remember that and just pledge in, in, in honor of Jesus. I mean, what he did for us. I mean, it makes me tear up just to think about him. But I do have some pledges. I want to read those right quick before we start. And Pauline White from Fleming, $100 in honor of Believer's Quartet mm -hmm. and the Rose family. Larkin Nina Smith from Clay, $50 in honor of her family in Wayne House. Brenda Stevens from Russell, $20 a month. Beth Banks from Clark, $100 in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Name with Health from Fleming, $20 in memory of loved ones gone on. Chester Kirby from Laurel, $100 in memory of mom and dad. Sue Wright from Lincoln, $25 in honor of the Rhodes family. Jim and Sheila Hagerman from Menifee, $50. Brian Thomas and Bernice Atkins from Pike, $50 in memory of her family that's gone on. Lisa Farrell from Lincoln, $50. Pauline Price from Pulaski, $25 in honor of the Rhodes family, memory of family gone on. Ralph and Georgia Wireman from Powell County, $500 in honor of all the, uh, all the workers in the Rhodes family and everyone that keeps WLJC on the air. Hallelujah to that. Clifton and Bonnie Estel from Clark, $100 in memory of Linda Estel. Joan Toller from Lewis, $125 in honor of our grandchildren, Connor and Audrey. Dennis Harper from Menifee, $50 in honor of Alan Ratliff. Larry and Martha Owsley from Madison County, $100. Nikki Sinners from Montgomery, $25. Thelma Charles from Powell County, $100. Marie Tomlinson from Lincoln, $25. Mm -hmm. Don and his mother Bernice Howard from Pulaski, $100. The Frasers from Floyd, $100 in the, uh, for, for the glory of God. Jill Woolowin from Madison, $25 in memory of Ralph Cox and Tom Woolowin. Catherine Cox from Madison, $25 in memory of Ralph Cox. Kenneth Rogers from Powell, $50 in honor of the Rhodes family. Betsy Rixby from Morgan, $50 in honor of our brother Harold. Went through 30 days of chemotherapy and 30 days of radiation. Now cancer free. Praise the Lord. Called in Ovita Messer from Round, $200. 
Name with help from Pike, $25, and WLJC is a blessing. So a lot of good pledges there, Margaret. Yes, so. yes. Well, you have, Wayne. Matt. Well, I'm just uh, glad to be able to be back. Uh, uh, I was just telling them it seemed like only last week it was the fall telethon, and here it is in the spring again. That's how fast time goes by. I, my dad used to, when I was a child, just a kid, he was talking about how fast time went, Brother Don. I'd say, ain't no way time goes that fast, but it does. And as you get older, you really, it just seems like it goes faster. So, but, but we're glad to be here and looking for a blessing tonight. want everybody to help us. We're the least uh, of, of anything important uh, tonight. You're the one that we need help from. We, we, uh, we'll read your name, and, and that's all we can do, you know, and just be, uh, ask you to give. But it's up to you. This uh, station is supported by people just like you that's watching right now, individual. And I told them at church Sunday night, I was preaching, I, I said, you know, there shouldn't ever be any difference in, in Baptist and Holiness and Methodist and you name any <laughs> denomination or church there is. We should all be together working for the, uh, the uh, welfare of souls. And I, I mean that. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And this station is not about a denomination. Mm -mm. It's about Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want my life to be about. I don't want to... I, I know I was saved in a certain denomination church and I pastor one, but that's not the reason I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven because of what Jesus done yes. for me. Yes. And that's yes. what this is all about. It's yes. about what Jesus has done for us and yes. what He's willing to do for you. And so I can get up here and say, well, we got this thing or that. I, I don't, I, I just want you to mind the Lord. And I believe if you're saved tonight, I believe that you know this is a good thing. And I believe that you, you want to support something good. And there ain't a whole lot of places out there you can find something good anymore to support. So we need your help. And we know you're going to. You, you've been faithful to help. And we're just counting on you. And don't, so don't wait till the last night or the last week. Give tonight. Uh, just, uh, you know, got a great group tonight. I'm looking forward to and love them, and you'll love yes, them, and yes. you know, they'll do a great job. So call in. Keep every, Got a good bunch upstairs tonight. We got good. some of our church came with us, and appreciate yes. them. And so Dottie's got a lot of help. Mm -hmm. So keep them busy. So call in, and I know God will bless you. So. Uh, that's about all I got. So. All right. Okay, uh, that's good, Wayne. And so they'll, they'll be making calls and you can r help read those pages. We have a newcomer on the, our telethon tonight, someone gracious enough to come and help us during this fun time that we have each year. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we have Brother Dave Hammonds, and he's a pastor up at Myra, Kentucky. And... Uh, he uh, has a program on uh, WLJC. You might have seen it uh, from time to time. But he's here in person to help us tonight. And so what's on your heart, Brother uh, Hammond? Well, it's good to be back with you. I tell you, I have a mighty word from the Lord that's going to bless people. If you're truly wanting a blessing, uh, this is Passover. And this is the exact day that they took the blood of the Lamb in Egypt. And you remember when Moses came and said, take the blood of the lamb and kill the lamb, slew the lamb, put the blood on the doorpost and lintel of every home. And the death angel, when he sees the blood, will pass over and death will not come. And uh, Jesus, this was on the 14th day of Nisan, the, the Jewish calendar, God's calendar. Today is the 14th day of Nisan on the Jewish calendar. This is the day we call Good Friday. This is the day that Jesus really was the lamb that was pictured so long ago in Egypt because he shed his blood on a cross. And he is our Passover lamb, as the Apostle Paul said. But there is something about giving that if you want an incredible blessing, and I've taught this uh, the last four or five years at our church, it's called the Passover offering. In Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16, God said to his people, Three times a year appear before me the feast of Passover, the feast of Pentecost, and the feast of tabernacles, and do not come before me empty-handed. Every man shall give as he is able, according how God has blessed him. Now, I have taught this, Sister Margaret, for four years, and you would not believe the incredible blessing where God has opened the windows of heaven yeah. on our people when they give a Passover offering. Yeah. 
You know, the Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Knowledge about what? Could it be that we don't know the Lord's feast days? We don't know His appointment times. The feast means God's appointment with man. And these are the Lord's feasts, not Jewish feasts. We think they're for Jews. He said, these are my feasts. And, and so God says here, today you can give a Passover offering today. And what a greater time to be on WLJC than right now at a share to know that God will open the windows of heaven. Yes. And you wouldn't believe yes. the miracles our people have received through a Passover offering. Mm -hmm. And we're just standing on God's word where he says, Come before me, don't come before me empty-handed. Today is Passover. Today you have an opportunity to give as God has blessed you. Just do what you can. And I believe we're just going to stand on God's Word, and I believe the windows of heaven yes. will be opened up yes. upon you who give. So yes. Yes. I encourage you to give. And, and why should you give? God gave His best oh, yes. today. Yes. He gave yes. His Son. Yes. He was the Passover lamb who shed His blood. And you know the doorpost and the lintel where they put the blood? They say it was in the shape of a cross. What about that? Back in Egypt, the shape of a cross. And Jesus hung on the cross with His arms out, His feet nailed, and it was a beautiful picture of the doorpost and the lintel. His arms, His feet nailed, and the blood dripping from the cross. He fulfilled the doorpost and the lintel as the Lamb of God who shed His blood. So good. Would you lead us in prayer for the people that's viewing? Yes. Heavenly Father, we just pray right now for a special anointing upon every person watching. Lord, I, help, I pray that we all see the cross. And Lord, it's not about money, it's about your glory. It's about this TV station winning souls. It's about the gospel going out to a dark and lost world. And we're not giving to collect, we're giving to glorify you. Yes. And Lord, thank you for WLJC and the lives that have been saved and changed because of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Sister Margaret and her commitment. 35 years this station has been a light in a dark world. Lord, I pray that you touch every heart that they would give a Passover offering tonight. Yes, Lord. And just really give it because of thanks to you for giving your son on a cross. I pray tonight souls will be saved yes. and you will be glorified. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 All right. So yes. good. All right, Brother Dave Hammonds. And uh, he, he was going to be here tonight to help uh, Edith and Wayne. And they're going to be reading all those pledges. Well, we have a wonderful group of singers over here just uh, all tuned up and ready to go. And they're going to sing you happy. If you're grouchy tonight, this is going to make you get happy. So <laughs> uh, we have the Dove Creek from Richmond. They do have CDs. Their phone number is 859-314-1903. So let's welcome right now the Dove Creek. I was down in the valley, way down in the valley, when the Savior heard my feeble cry. Way up on the mountain, drinking from the fountain that will never run dry. There was darkness all around me when my Savior found me, way down in the valley of despair. When I told him all my troubles, then my joys were doubled. Now I'm back up on the mountain, rejoicing in his love. I was down in the valley. Way down in the valley, when the Savior heard my feeble cry. Now I'm back up on the mountain, way up on the mountain, drinking from the fountain that will never run dry.
If you don't watch old Satan, he'll catch you in the valley. He'll hide you from the Savior's guiding light. But he will stand behind you. He will never find you when you're up on the mountain to find a good fight. I was down in the valley, way down in the valley, when the Savior heard my feeble cry. Now I'm back up on the mountain. Way up on the mountain, drinking from the fountain that will never run dry. I was down in the valley, way down in the valley. When the Savior heard my feeble cry, now I'm back up on the mountain, way up on the mountain, drinking from the fountain that will never run dry. Yes, I'm drinking from the fountain that never runs dry. Amen. Thanks for, thanks for that song, Pam. It's uh, it's good to be up on the mountain, but God's there for us, whether in the valley or on the mountain. It's so so wonderful to know that. Uh, this next song is a, uh, it's it's about family, and Scripture tells us that family is important, and uh, we just love. I love the meaning of the song. It's it's uh, it talks about uh, the in crowd and where the in crowd really is. Just try this now. It's five o'clock and one more working day is finally at an end. I hurry from my job, start my car to fight the traffic once again. Driving down the interstate, my tension eases as the traffic thins. I leave my worries far behind and wonder what the in crowd might be doing. Farther down the road, a pretty woman's waiting with a drink for me. There's a lot of woman there, and pretty soon that's where I'm going to be. Well, I'm the only one that's missing. I'm the one the in crowd's waiting for. So I drive around the back and park my car, then I open up the door. And there stands the in crowd. They're not the sin crowd, they're the light of my life crowd, my kids and my wife crowd, she hands me my coffee, and the kids gather round me, and it makes me so proud to be in with the in crowd.
we're going to get Mr. Mr. Mike up here. Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this this fellow's name is Mike French. He's a he's a wonderful musician and singer and talent. We're we're just pleased as punch to have him in the band with us and uh, and he's a uh, he came up with this song and a it's a lot older song than uh, us doing it, but he put a he put what we call the Dove Creek twist on it and uh, and uh, changed it up a little bit and we uh, we love the message and it. it's called Drinking from the Fountain. We are drinking from the fountain. We are drinking from the fountain, Lord. We are drinking from the fountain that never runs dry. Oh, Mother, I love Jesus. Oh, Mother, yes, I do. Oh, Mother, I love Jesus. And you can love him too. We are drinking from the fountain. We are drinking from the fountain, Lord. We are drinking from the fountain that never runs dry. Oh, sinner, I love Jesus. Oh, sinner, yes, I do. Oh, sinner, I love Jesus. And you can love him, too. We are drinking from the fountain. We are drinking from the fountain, Lord. We are drinking from the fountain that never runs dry. Oh, Father, I love Jesus. Oh, Father, yes, I do. Oh, Father, I love Jesus. And you can love him, too. We are drinking from the fountain. We are drinking from the fountain, Lord. We are drinking from the fountain that never runs dry. We are drinking from the fountain, we are drinking from the fountain, Lord. We are drinking from the fountain that never runs dry. Drinking from the fountain. You know, if you're a... Uh, you can drink from that fountain that we're singing about. Uh, if you don't know Jesus as your Savior tonight, I, we, I beg you to please come. Please get on your knees and ask him to come into your heart because there, nothing else matters. When we're done with this life on earth, there, nothing else is going to matter except having Jesus in our heart. Yeah. It's either Jesus in our heart or, or an eternal damnation in hell. And it's, it's scripture. It's not something. It's a myth that's made up. It's real, and we. Uh, it is my prayer that everyone that's watching and every everyone will come to know Jesus as their Savior, because there's no life without Him. As far as I'm concerned, there's, there's nothing, nothing more important than than having a Savior that'll that's willing to suffer and die for you and forgive you of your sins to, for eternal life. And uh, and this song uh, that I'm about to do t talks about that and. I've got to got to send the song out now to my to my mom and dad because this was my mom's idea actually f to do this song uh, a few years ago. But um, she said this song means means a lot to her because it it describes what Christ went through for us, and and I'm I'm very uh, much in agreement with her, and I, I'm so thankful and grateful that Christ has has done what He's done for me and for those around me who who I love dearly. I also want to send this out to a fellow on my mail route. His name is William West, and he watches every night, and he's a, he's a wonderful fellow. And, uh, Jim? It's possible. You just never know. But uh, 
This one's called He Took Your Place. Up on the rugged cross of Calvary Was there my blessed Savior cried Forgive them for they know not what they do Oh sinner friend for you he died His hand is gently knocking on your door Outside he's pleading to come in His heart is breaking as he waits for you to wash you free from every sin. Those cruel thorns that pierced my Savior's head The blood was flowing down his face Alone, forsaken, there he bled and died Oh, sinner friend, he took your place His hand is gently knocking on door outside he's pleading to come in his heart is breaking as he waits for you to wash you free from every sin someday he's coming back to claim his own and we'll fly to heaven's golden shore A crown of life he'll give on that glad day And with him we'll live forevermore His hand is gently knocking on your door Outside he's pleading to come in his heart is breaking as he waits for you to wash you free from every sin. His heart is breaking as he waits for you to wash you free from every sin. I got to send this song out to some people, and I had to write it down because I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> this one, uh, what are we doing anyway? Leaning on the everlasting arms. The Darlings did that on uh, Andy Griffith's show. <laughs> Better than I will probably. But anyway, uh, to Irene Johnson, Lois Bentley, and Rachel Bellamy, Edith and Jesse Davidson, there sits Edith and Dora, and my mom on the French who has a crush on Tom Ackerman on the weather forecast on channel 18 but she told me if i said that in front of anybody she'd kill me so now 20 countries have heard it well, you are in a lot of trouble <laughs> i think yeah <laughs> so we'll try this one all right one, two, two. What a joy divine Leaning on the everlasting arms What, what a place of can Leaning on the everlasting arms Lean on Jesus, lean on Jesus Safe and secure from all alarm Lean on Jesus, lean on Jesus Everlasting 
What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arm. I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leaning on the everlasting arm. Lean on Jesus, lean on Jesus, safe and secure from all alarm. Lean on Jesus, lean on Jesus, leaning on the everlasting arm. try to do this song uh, I just lost my mother the day after Christmas and uh, this is one of her favorite songs but I'm going to try to do it for you all tonight um, you know thank goodness because Jesus gave his life for our sins we now if we give our hearts to him we ask him to be the Lord of our lives then we know that we will live in eternity and we will live in a beautiful land. Amen. I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I never been before. No sense. Will there be spoken? For time won't matter anymore. You are I'm longing for you. And so a few more days for my heavenly flight. Beulah land, I'm longing for you. And so Stand. 
What a beautiful song. I know that you're enjoying Dove Creek, and we're so glad that they're here with us tonight. We do have another $5,000. we are at $55,000 right now, and we thank you so much for calling in, and we just love all of you and appreciate you so much. Um, we do want to get all of these done. Now, each flower is $5,000. Now, it takes quite a bit of funds to get 5000 but I know that some of you maybe could call in and color in one leaf. We don't know about that. Anything's possible with the Lord. But this is the Lord's work, and we want you to know that you will always hear something about the Lord. You'll hear something good. And I know that this is a wonderful place to be because I come here and worship the Lord with them, and I sure enjoy myself. And when I'm not here, like when I had cancer and I couldn't be here, I know that the Lord was with me because I listened to WLJC. Now, there's a lot of people out there that can't go to church because of sickness. Some people just won't go. But we know that there's a lot of people incarcerated. We know there's nursing homes. We know there's a lot of people out there that can't get to, to church. So let's all band together, see what we can do to keep this on the airways, and let the Lord's word go out over the airways. Let's go back over. Amen. We say amen to everything Dottie said. Keep calling in. We need your help. You know, like we said, we'll, we'll read a few here. Lighthouse Baptist Church from Madison, $600. Larry and Dana Rains from Madison, $100. Homer and Georgie Johnson from Rippet, $100. Louise Durham from Jackson, $10. In honor of son Harold, who had heart surgery today. And Louise requests prayer. Charlene Dana Shar. From Pulaski, uh, $100 memory of husband and mother and father. Bonnie Carter, uh, Carter from Madison, $50, and requests prayer for self and family. Felix uh, Coldarn, $100 memory of wife Rosemary and four kids. Shirley Spaulding from Wolf, $15 in honor of Justin, Earl, husband, parents, Murray and Roy Chambers, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Name will fail from Wayne. $10 a month for a year. Minnie Pearl Sloan from Knott, $20 and request prayer. Eddie Sproles from um, Fayette, $50. Winnie Molden from Pulaski, $50 in memory of husband Rodney, who passed away last year. Husband and wife from Laurel, $100. Army vet and said they request, request prayer for both of them. Goldie and Earl Bert Berger, Berger, Berger from uh, Montgomery, $200 honor of Dottie Combs. Jerry and Zelda McIntosh from Johnson, $100 in memory of all the loved ones gone on. Billy and Betty Fillette Phil from Fayette, $50 and request prayer. Sister Edith. All right. Some good pledges there. Just keep calling and we're going to be here to 9 o'clock. Remember, we're just here from 7 to 9. So get on those phones and make your pledges. And if you would, please go ahead and send your money in. That helps us at the very end our bookkeepers and so we don't have it all coming in at one time so if you could do that we sure would appreciate that and we sure do appreciate you all because we can't do this work without your help and we only come to you twice a year and that's in the spring and fall for uh for our telethons and uh, our goal is two hundred fifty thousand dollars uh and uh, we've been uh, celebrating 35 years of christian tv so we've been on here since 1982 been a lot longer on the radio and then switch to TVs that God has opened up doors so we appreciate that from God and he's taking care of us and I know he's going to help you to help us so uh, Deborah Couch from Campbell $25 Charles Dixon from Pulaski $100 in memory of mother and father and honor his wife Mary Kidd from Prestonsburg $400 from her husband and Mary in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ Glenda Tucker from Wayne $40 in memory of her husband Arnold Tucker 
Lynn Rose from Fleming won her daughter and learned what the blessings the Savior did for her. Dwight and Joyce Davison from Clay County won $100. So those are some good pledges coming in. And just wanted to remind you, you know, our church has taken on WLJC as a missionary field, and, you know, and, and I believe in missions, you know. We send to different places, you know, third world countries, you know, and stuff, but we have taken WLJC on as a, as a missionary field. And your church may consider doing that because it's those monthly pledges that keeps us uh, our electric bill paid and the phones put on and all the things. And we're here 24-7. So, I mean, anytime you, in the middle of the night, if you wake up and you need prayer, you can call WLJC and there'll be someone here to talk to you and help you through. And, and we sure appreciate the work that God has uh, put in this ministry and all the workers here. So... Okay, the Dove Creek is doing a wonderful, wonderful job over there. I was going to say something before we do that. Remember your Passover offering that we talked about, Deuteronomy 16, 16, but also how Jesus was the Passover lamb, how he fulfilled it. Uh, in the temple, they would pray and give their sacrifices at 9 in the morning, 12 noon, and 3 in the afternoon. That's when the sacrifices and the prayer was at the temple, 9, 12, and 3. Jesus, the Bible says, was hung on the cross at 9. At 12 o'clock, it became dark, 12 o'clock noon, and at 3 o'clock, he bowed his head and said, it is finished as the final sacrifice for the sins of the world. That's a good word, there, Brother David. And, you know, uh, that's the truth. You know, what a, what a honor it to be to give a donation in Jesus' honor, you know, because what he did today for us, this is, you think about it, this is the day <laughs> that he hung on the cross. And uh, it's really something to think about that. You know, we know he rose on Sunday, but uh, we're ready to go back to Dove Creek, and they're doing a wonderful job, and they're out of Richmond, and their contact number is 859 314 one nine zero three, and they do have CDs, so you'll call. The contact person will be Pam just when you call. So we'll go back to Dev Creek, doing a wonderful job. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Leads me safely through the sinking sands. It is the Christ of Calvary. Help me be my prayer, dear Lord, each day to help me do the best I can. For I need thy light to guide me day and night. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. I need Through this, this pilgrim land, protect me by thy power. Hear my feeble plea, oh Lord, look down on me. When I kneel in prayer, I hope to meet you there. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Let me travel in the light divine that I may see the blessed way. Keep me that I may be holy thine and sing redemption song someday. I will be a soldier brave and true and ever firmly take a stand. As I onward go and daily meet the foe, blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Jesus, hold my hand. I need thee every hour. Through this pilgrim land, protect me by thee.
we're gonna try one now. It's called it's it's one of our favorites. Actually, we've done this uh, ever since the beginning. I think, haven't we? Pretty much. It's uh, it's just a good old kind of like the last one. It's a good toe tapping gospel song that that, that talks about uh, going where the soul never dies. soul never dies my darkest night will turn to day where the soul never dies no sad no well no tear dim dies where all is love and the soul a song that uh, talks about the victory that we have when we when we finally say goodbye to this world here we know that we have victory in Jesus if you're a saved person then, then you have victory in Jesus and you know that you're going to live eternally you're going to be living in a land that, that is like no other the colors are brighter than anything we've ever seen here on earth the beauty is just beyond compare and uh, I want to send this one out to all of my Combs family. They're from over here in the Beattyville area. So I want to send this out to my husband's grandmother and his uncles and aunts. And uh, we're going to do one. It's just a very traditional song. And I've never really done it bluegrass style till Wednesday night. We decided to do it because that's what the, the whole Easter weekend about. It, that's what it's about is having victory in Jesus because he died on the cross for our sins. And I don't know about you, but I'm very, very thankful for that.
request to do this next one. You know, not every uh, pastor has ever been to seminary school, and uh, I just believe that if you are called to preach, then the Lord will equip you with the right thing that you need, and the right thing you need is the Word of God, the Bible, and if you read in it, you will come to understand it after a while. When you first read it, it's like kind of like reading a foreign language when you don't really know the Lord. But the more and more you get to know him, the more and more you understand what you're reading. And the more and more you understand what you're reading, the more and more you get to know him. Right. It goes hand in hand. And uh, this is one that uh, talks about a preacher that hasn't really been to, the, to school to learn, but he's equipped with the right stuff. It's one called Education on High. <laughs> If I could go back when I was a lad, when I go to church with mother and dad, the preacher would preach straight from the book. We had no education, but he had what it took. The preacher would say, repent of your sins. Give your heart to God and let the love light in. Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, gave up his life for you and for me. If I could go back when I was a lad, when I'd go to church with mother and dad, the preacher would preach straight from the book. We had no education, but he had what it took. I don't let education stand in your way. Give your heart to God and let it judge my day. Give your heart to Jesus and say the sinner's prayer. And then you'll be ready for that meeting in the air. If I could go back when I was a lad, when I'd go to church with mother and dad, the preacher would preach straight from the book. 
Well, he had no education, but he had what it done. Good job over there. Uh, we'll uh, give you all a little break here in a few minutes, for a few minutes there. You'll have about five minutes or so, so rest a little bit. And uh, remember our goal is $250,000. And uh, our, our hours on the telethon is from uh, 7 to uh, 9, so we won't be here at 10 o'clock. Then pass the word on if you know anybody that doesn't know that. So, uh, and uh, also, we've, we want to tell you all the different ways that you can pledge. You can pledge calling it in. We have phone operators up there. And you can also email it. And we do accept credit cards of all kinds. Or you can walk it in. You can uh, go online and pledge because you can go to www.wljc.com and pledge that way. And it says, there's a button on there that says donate. You click on it and it walks you through every little step to do. And uh, you can do that and have it taken out monthly if you'd rather pay it monthly. That's how I do it. I just have them take it out of my check account every month and then I don't have to worry about sending a check or, or doing all that. It works better for me. But we, we have given you so many choices that surely you can find one that will make it easy for you. And uh, our money this time is going to finish paying for a high definition transitioning. And uh, they, when they got in there, they had to change a lot more stuff than what they originally thought because, you know, you can't put new with old anymore with all this technology stuff. So that, that's where a lot of the monies had to go that they wasn't expecting. So, uh, and uh, our uh, flower board, I want to tell you about that again. As you can see, it looks really pretty up there. And it's, uh, every petal is for $5,000 and a whole flower is uh, $25,000. So, some of you businesses and people out there that God has blessed above and beyond, it would be wonderful if you could do that. And in memory of somebody that's gone on that watched faithfully that this was their church, you know, and we've got a lot of followers that have gone on to be with Jesus. And uh, so that leaves a void, you know. So just pick up that void and help us out tonight. And uh, uh, also uh, we're on social media. We're on Twitter and Facebook, so you can contact us that way. And... Uh, uh, also, our phone number is 606-464-3600. Our mailing address is WLJC, Post Office Box Y, and that's Beattyville, Kentucky, and that's 41311. And we do have phone operators up there, Dottie, and uh, have several. Uh, Brother Wayne's church is up there and several ladies from different places, so we're thankful for all the phone operators that, that help. And if you've got a, a special prayer request, they're up there to take that, too, and... Um, uh, also, we're going to do a promotional video at this time, and uh, this is just a little tokens of appreciation. We're not trying to buy your donation or pledge or anything. We just uh, want to show you how much we appreciate your, your helping WLJC and keeping us on the air. So now we will go to our promotional video. WLJC is brought to you by your tithes and offerings. Because of your prayers and financial support, the WLJC ministry continues to grow and reach across the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. To thank you for your support, everyone that contributes during the WLJC Spring Telethon will receive a special gift. For any amount given, you will receive the Hour of Harvest Magnet. Keep WLJC's info close by on the fridge or filing cabinet. Show your support with the Hour of Harvest Magnet. For your gift of $100 or more, you will receive the Hour of Harvest Devotional Notebook. Keep all your thoughts and notes in order in this special devotional. It's small and compact, easily carried or stored away. For your gift of $500 or more, you will receive the Hour of Harvest Apron. Get to cooking with the Hour of Harvest. It has three pockets and a pen compartment for storage. 
This apron is coated with a special Teflon finish, making it stain resistant and worry free. We encourage you to visit WLJC.com and make your donations. It's fast and easy. You can also call 606-464-3600. Thank you for all your prayers and support. May God bless you. Welcome back. And this is, we're starting our last hour tonight, our spring telethon, and the singers are still with us, and uh, we're waiting on you all to call because we need to talk to you, and we appreciate your help in calling and pledging, so we don't want to ever make you feel like you're not appreciated because we sure do appreciate you. And we know God's faithful and he's going to take care of the station because we're at the, where we're reaching and everything, it's just, it's just amazing to me. But I was here when it started down under the hill at the radio station, so I've seen it come a long ways. And, and I know a lot of you all have too. So uh, just get on those phones and help us out. We sure would appreciate it. Dottie and if you don't keep them busy up there, they get in trouble. So just... Keep them busy, okay? So we're going to go back to Dove Creek, and we sure do appreciate them. And their contact number is 859-314-1903, and you'll be speaking to Pam Combs. You call that number, and they do have CDs. So we'll go back to Dove Creek, and you all doing a wonderful job. Hallelujah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hallelujah. I can hear the voices singing soft and low. Hallelujah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm ready to go. In the darkness night, not a star was in sight on the highway that leads down below. But Jesus came in and saved us all from sin. Hallelujah. I'm ready to go. Hallelujah, I'm ready, I'm ready, hallelujah, I can hear the voices singing soft and low, hallelujah, I'm ready, I'm ready, hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm ready to go. Well, sinner, to wake before it's too late. He's a wonderful Savior, you know. And I fell on my knees when he answered my plea. Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. Hallelujah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hallelujah, I can hear the voices singing soft and low. Hallelujah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. So thankful that I have a Lord and Savior that saved me many years ago and that I know where I'm going when it, my time on this earth is gone. And I'll send that one out to my in-laws, Daryl and Jeanette Combs, and my husband who's watching in Berea, Kentucky. He likes to come up here with us and sing with us from time to time, but he just wasn't able to do that today. He's got a visitation. Uh, he's a funeral director at Lake's Funeral Home in Berea, so he keeps quite busy there, but we're glad that he's tuning in. He said he'd try to tune in from time to time tonight in, in between, so I'm thankful for that. And thankful that I have a very godly husband, and um, he's just been a blessing to me, and I know that God put us together, and it's just a wonderful feeling. 
want to keep in mind what what we're here for tonight, and uh, please keep this program on the air because it it it's true. It is a lot of people. It's their only church, and and uh, and it's it's just a wonderful ministry. The 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 amount of people that it reaches uh, all over the world through the internet and and locally here through the TV station. It's a uh, it's just a very wonderful feeling to be able to just come up and and share our music with such a such a great uh, program here and uh we're thankful that that there are places like this that are willing to share the gospel and uh without this there would be a lot of people I've, on my mail route i'm sure wayne feels the same way and, and here's the same thing that there are a lot of people who watch this every night and and i was i was really surprised because uh it's people that are it's not it's all ages all ages it's families and it's sometimes that's their only avenue to, to church whether it's by choice or because they're shut in but please uh please keep this program going because it's very very important in god's ministry this hey, next song yes I, before you do that i wanted to mention that i was just standing here thinking about that when you were talking about that and and there are a lot of people that watch this but you know we spend our money on a lot of things think of all the sporting events and things like that that we go to there's a lot of money spent on that kind of thing and when your life is over here, that's going to fade. That's going to mean nothing. But giving your money to something like this, to a program that shares the gospel, the truth about God, Christ, and a heaven which we are all going to if we give our lives to him, that's what's worth putting your money into. Yeah. So please, this is, and I like the idea that it's not a telethon, it's a share -thon. Um, I heard the pastor say that a little earlier, and I like that because we're here to share the gospel. It's a share -a so please give. This next song, it's, it's very special to me because I had a dear friend, uh, used to play music with a fellow in Richmond named John Cosby and, uh, for several years, and his wife, Frances, was a very sweet lady. And, and one day I was there uh, talking to her and uh, I think do a little work on her house, actually, and she uh, she told me she said Larry I want you to to do my funeral when I pass away and I just I said I'm not a pastor she said that's why I want you to do my funeral and she gave me a couple of songs she wanted me to sing and uh, four years ago right around this time this this came to pass and she uh, she's a very sweet lady and I miss her I miss her terribly but uh, I had to do what she asked me to do because. She was that close to the Lord, and and this is one of the songs she asked me to do, and and she she suffered, she had some pain in her life, and uh, and this is this meant a lot to her, and uh, we want to do it now for for those who are suffering tonight. It's called the heart that will never break again. and wither and 
I have often heard and read about a city where with Jesus we shall live forevermore. And the mansion is in construction for my dwelling. And the streets of gold will run by my front door. And I'll have eyes that will never fill with teardrops. And I'll have legs that will never ache with pain. And I'll Praise God for his healing. He's uh, he's just an awesome God. He, he loves us so much. All he's done for us. Uh, this past week, I've thought a lot about uh, what this time of year means and what what it's uh, what it means in my Christian life and what it what it means to to everyone. Because if if you don't have God as a savior, please please take the time to either get with someone or just get on your knees and 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 beg him to come into your heart because he's there he's waiting it's just like the song we sung a while ago he's he's knocking on the door and he's ready to, he's ready to come into your heart but uh he will love you like no other and he will take care of you like no other and uh, he also has has promised you the promises in his word of eternal life and 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 the many promises that he makes so um Take that into consideration and, and search out your soul and and, uh, and come to know Jesus because it's 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 very important in this world. Oh. Direction. 
direction the other to the pearly game Crossroads. You know, it's if you're at that crossroad now, it's uh, it's time. It's time to uh, time to make the right choice, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna speed it up a little bit now and do a uh, do a song that uh, I've done. We've done for many years, Mike and I have, and it's uh, it talks about the the fact that glory land is nearing, and I believe with all my heart that Amen. that every sign now is pointing. Uh, pointing to his second coming it, uh, it's the seasons are changing as we're well aware of this year there's a uh, there's just so much going on in our world it points to the, the return of our savior and uh this song talks about that it talks about how glory land is nearing While passing along on life's journey, harbor lights in the homeland appear. And they tell me each day, as they tell me, at the end of my journey, I know that glory land is nearing, harbor lights are now appearing. They are shining all the night, they are leading me right. The king of glory land is guiding, homeward safely I am riding, and I know that surely I'll get there. When at last in the harbor I'll anchor And shall dwell in the home of the soul With our Savior, our friends, and our loved ones We'll be happy while the ages roll I know that glory land is nearing Harbor lights are now appearing They are shining o'er the night They are leading me aright The king of glory land is guiding Homeward safely I am riding And I know that surely I'll get there Harbor lights are now appearing, they are shining all the night, they are leading me right. The king of glory land is guiding, homeward safely I am riding, and I know that surely I'll get there. And I know that surely I'll get there. I know that surely I'll get there. This song is so special to me because, you know, God uses many avenues to to reach us uh, when He's when He's trying to get through to us, and and He used the words of this song about almost 24 years ago to uh, to to reach out and and uh, really He broke my heart's what He did because I always say that because God can't get into your heart unless it's got a crack in it. If it's all sealed up, He's 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 shielded out. So uh, he used this song to get to me and, and, and to help me to understand that I needed him in my life. And uh, I love the words to it. And uh, Pam's going to sing, it's called A Press Through the Crowd.
clutches of Satan. They clung to my soul. And I knew I needed Jesus. And my burdens were heavy. Because when I touched Jesus, He made me whole, and I pressed through the crowd, reached out and touched Jesus, the sweet old Like the woman who tried so many physicians, but when she touched Jesus, she was healed all. Yes, for trusting in Jesus. He'll make you Praise the Lord. That was wonderful. Uh, we are at uh, 60,000. Now, I'd like to see us get up here for 75,000 and get all of this flower at least colored in tonight. Each one of these 
leaves on this flower is $5,000. We need you to keep calling in upstairs at 606-464-3600. We do appreciate all of you that have called tonight, but call in tonight in memory of someone or in honor of someone, in honor of your pastor. It's Easter, in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is just awesome that we're at the Easter holiday, and uh, we thank the Lord for this station. I know many of you do, too. I know a lot of people that watch it. I have family that watch it that's not saved, but I know at least they're finding something about the Lord here, and it's such a wonderful thing. So let's go back to the singing. I am on a journey to a land so bright and fair Where there is a place prepared for me it started at an altar, down on my knees in prayer. Jesus came and set me free. I know, I know, I know, I know. Jesus came and saved my soul. Now I'm on my way to heaven where the milk and honey flows. I know, I know, I know. If you haven't met the Savior, or perhaps you've lost your way, take some good advice from me. Just let the Spirit lead you to the rugged cross today. You'll find blessed victory. I know, I know, I know, I know. Jesus came and saved my soul. Now I'm on my way to heaven where the milk and honey flows. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, Jesus came and saved my soul. Now I'm on my way to heaven where the milk and honey flows. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, Jesus came and saved my soul. Now I'm on my way to heaven where the milk and honey flows. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I know, and I tell them all the time, I'm sure glad it's a no-so way. Uh, I was lost, I knew I was lost, I got saved, I knew I was saved. So uh, that's why we're here tonight, trying to uh, help you. If you're not saved, we're trying to uh, help you uh, to be able to see the way to the Lord. And, you know, um, these singers are doing a great job. They've dedicated yeah. their time and allotted their time to come and, and sing tonight. So Dove Creek, and we'll get back to them just a few minutes from Richmond, and you can call Pam and talk to her. Uh, got a few more requests, but we need you to keep calling in. $61,060. So call in. Mm -hmm. Help us out. Norma uh, Stone from Madison, $20 in honor of the Lord. Donnie Howard from Morgan, $20. Lena from Pulaski, $10. Norma Stone from Madison, $20. Name with Hell from Purry, $75. Roy and Martha from Jessamine, $100 in honor of Dove Creek. Curtis Fields from Menifee, $25 in memory of Tommy uh, John Rowe. Harvey Lee Napier from Harlan, $600 in honor of the Dove Creek Singers. And we appreciate you, Harvey. Denver and Linda Burton from Rock Castle, $50. Felix Brock um, from Laurel, $25. Thank you, Felix. Christine McCleary from Morgan, fifty dollars will be said she will be ninety four April the fifth and wish her a happy birthday and she request prayer for daughter Charlotte. So 
Thank you, Christine. Martha McIntosh from Lee, $10 a month for the next six months in honor of the Lord. Donald and Rena Anglin from Rockcastle, 100 in memory of the loved ones going on. James and Lisa uh, Far Farley from Wolf, 25 in honor of the Lord. Gary Holman, uh, Homel, but from Rockcastle, $50 and request prayer for Anna Holman and Arnold McGuire. Jimmy Hart Harden from Bracken, $100. Name with hell from Rock Castle for two hundred dollars in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ, brother Dave. Yes, more pledges, Don and Bernice Howard from Laurel County pledges two hundred and a request uh, for prayer for pain. Faye Reniger from Scott County twenty five dollars in honor of Wayne House. James and Joanne Perkins from Wayne County pledges twenty five in honor of the, our precious Lord and Savior. Aiden and Noble from Breathitt County pledges 110 Passover offering in memory of Christy Noble, their daughter. Deborah Roark from McGoffin County pledges $20 in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ, wants her son and grandchildren to get saved. Name with help from Owsley County pledges $30 in, in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Name with help from Adair County pledges $100 in honor of Sister Margaret. Harvey Napier from Harlan pledges $2,000 in honor of all workers. Yes, and in memory of cousin James Napier, who was 95 when he passed away. Harvey, thank you. Lily from Rockcastle County pledges $10, and a name withheld pledges $50. And thank you so much for your pledges. All right. Sounds good, doesn't it? David and Linda, Linda Brummett from Wayne, $100. Eva Younger from Madison, $20. Floretta Dillion from Mingo, West Virginia, $20. And we request prayer for Andy Dillion and Tennis. Carol Landrum from Knox, $10 a month till next telethon. Linda Holt from Jessamine, $30 a month till next telethon. Joanne Marcy from Garrett County, $10 in honor of Dove Creek. Larry Raines was her, was her neighbor. L.V. Tucker from Russell, $20 a month for one year. That says something about you, Brother Larry, doesn't it? <laughs> Your neighbor. And Linda Croucher from Bath, uh, $20. Dale and Becky P Patterson from Casey, $300 on our sister Margaret and all the workers and what the LJC does. Name with help from Breath at $100 in honor of Elvin and Ella Jean Miller. Been a pastor for 50 years and still does prison ministry. Harvey Napier from Harlan County, $745 in honor of Jesus Christ for dying for us. Farine Meadows from Wayne, $100 in honor of Brother Jeff Allen, a survivor of cancer. Myrtle Prince from Lawrence, uh, $25 in memory of her husband who passed away two years ago and, um, and in honor of her children. Jeannie G Good Pastor from Lincoln County, $100 in memory of her husband. Helen from Whitley, $50. Margie from Clark, pledges $10 a month. Richard and Virginia Chenderlin from Gary, $100 in honor of Dr. Paul and Patricia Maddox. Ray and Carol Tucker from Wayne, $25 in honor of our Lord Jesus Christ and the singers. Jan Dalton from Pulaski, $100. Sharon Stratton from Boyle, $50 in memory of Mother Juanita Stratton and loves the singers. Mary Conkle from Virginia, $50 in memory of all of her family that has gone on and she loves the station. Billy and Mona Sapp from Flemingsburg, $200 in great music. So everybody's enjoying the music, uh, Dove Creek. So y'all doing a wonderful job of blessing people. So that's what, we're, that's what it's all about, isn't it? God's anointing and things. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll go back to Dove Creek and let them sing. They're going to be singing us till we're almost off the air. So we'll go back to Dove Creek and y'all doing a wonderful job. I was going to say one thing okay. before we do. And you know, I really feel that there's a lot of people watching right now that's lost. And I want you to see the cross and see Jesus hanging on that cross for you. And you know right now I'm going to lead you in a prayer where you can receive Christ. I know God's dealing with a lot of people. And now is the time. What greater day to be saved than on Passover, the day our Lord was crucified. That's right. And then that's Sunday good. you can go to church and jump a pew because <laughs> it'll be the resurrection day and you can be resurrected right now from the dead because if you're lost, you're dead in your sins. But you can come to life today. Would you just say a little prayer like this? Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Lord, I'm a sinner and I have sinned against you. Lord, forgive me of my sins. I realize you paid my debt for me. You carried my sins on your own body to the cross. 
And Lord, I receive it right now. You're my Lord, my Savior. You have forgiven me. I'm saved. I'm heaven bound. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. And you know what? That's as simple. That's how simple salvation is. Yes. If you call upon the name of the Lord, simple. you will be saved. And if you prayed that prayer and meant it in your heart, would you call that phone number right now and say, I invited Jesus into my heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. Call that number. You're born again by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, brother. And he's right. That's how simple it is. God's plan is so simple for us. Uh, we make it difficult because we try to put all of this worldly stuff into it, and, and it's not the way it works. It's God, God is He's a simple, loving, jealous God that wants us in his life, and uh, it's up to us to be there. Uh, right, I just want to tell everybody who, in case you don't know who we are, I'll let everybody know real quick. Uh, on the banjo and singing all parts and very talented uh, individual over here uh, from Waco, Kentucky, Mr. Mike French. And back here on the bass, he's our foundation. He's our he's our rock. He's a he's a wonderful man and, and a good role model for for everyone, all of us, and everyone around him. His name is Jim West from Lexington. And this lady right here is uh, she's done just about everything you can do in music. And uh, we're very fortunate and, and happy to have her as a member of Dove Creek. And, and we're just very pleased with uh, with all she brings to the table here and, and, and her Christianity and her family as well. Uh, this is Pam Perry Combs. And this fella is, a, we always like to say, he's a mail carrier by day, musician by night, but he's a number one. He's a Christian man. And uh, he's a wonderful guy to travel the roads with. And we will, and his name is Larry Rains. He is a good neighbor. <laughs> just ask, like a just good ask neighbor. Just Joanne Marcy. That's right. <laughs> she is a sweet lady and a very dear friend of mine as well. But the, uh, the prayer that he just prayed inspired me to want to do this song. It's it's one of my favorite hymns. And uh, if you know it, you at home and here and everywhere around, sing along with us, because because this is a. Uh, this is a plea to not be passed by here on this earth. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Savior, Savior, hear my own. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Let me at the throne of mercy find a sweet relief.
That's a prayer that I have for each and every one watching tonight and listening. Uh, don't let the Lord pass you by. Come to know him and, and, and join us in the family of God. Because that's what it is. It's a family and, and God wants us all there. We're going to do one now that... Uh, yeah, let's get Mike to do, do a song that. that he wrote for his dad. You know, <clears throat> most of us have very special memories of our parents growing up and uh his mike's dad was a big influence on him in his life and in many many ways and um he wrote this song in honor of his father uh, a few years back and really did not have any intention of singing it out for the public but he sang it for us one night and we were just so touched by it and so we've been doing it ever since and it's one called uh, bluegrass heaven is that right He grew up in the hills of Kentucky Hard work and guitars were his joy The grand old Opry brought tears to his eyes With Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys But he's playing his golden guitar today With his brand new uncalloused hand my dad wouldn't think it was heaven without a bluegrass angel band. He gave up his old guitar years ago Raised a family but nothing got him down And he played his Victorola with Lester and Earl About a newsboy named Jimmy Brown But he's playing his golden guitar today With his brand new uncalloused hand my dad wouldn't think it was heaven without a bluegrass angel band. He's playing His brand new uncalloused hands Cause my dad wouldn't think it was heaven Without a bluegrass angel band No, my dad wouldn't think it was heaven 
without a bluegrass angel band. Well, we have really enjoyed our time here at WLJC, as we always, always do. Uh, we are, we come because we feel like people want to be blessed, but we always leave us being the ones that have been blessed by being here. Uh, we do hope that we have blessed you with our music just a little bit, but you all have blessed us and everyone that's here and, and helps out here at WLJC. Believe me, this is the real deal here. I tell people that all the time. I said, uh, when you watch WLJC, you can tell it's the real deal. The people are here. They mean what they're saying. They mean what they're preaching. And we are here to share the gospel. And we hope that we've been able to do that just a little bit tonight. And um, I'm going to get Larry to close out with this one. We have time to do just one more for us. And uh, it's just a beautiful old song. If you know it, feel free to sing along with us at home there. And I better mention this. I mean no disrespect by being barefooted, but I have hurt my toe, and I just couldn't wear my shoes, and I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Life is like a mountain railway. With an engineer so brave We must make the run successful From the cradle to the grave Watch the curves, the fields, the tunnels Never falter, never fail Keep your hand upon the throttle And your eyes upon the rail Blessed Savior, Thy will guide us Till we reach that blissful shore Where the angels wait to join us in thy praise forevermore As you roll across the trestle, spanning Jordan, swelling tide, you'll behold the Union Depot, into which your train will glide. There you meet the superintendent. God the Father, God the Son, with the hearty joyous plaudit, weary pilgrim, welcome home. Blessed Savior, Thy will guide us till we reach that blissful shore. to join us in thy praise forevermore where the angels wait to join us in thy praise forevermore 
Rick, would you wait just a minute? We have two ladies that are faithful viewers of this. If y'all sing happy birthday to Christine McClurry, she's 94, and she's from Morgan, and Ruby Trussell, that's 82, and she's from Bourbon. So if y'all would sing happy birthday to those two ladies. Four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Hey Amen. They asked us if yes. we'd sing happy birthday. We said we'll find somebody. <laughs> so, so we did. We found somebody. So. We're not new at this, I'll tell you. Dove Creek. We've been around a while. Dove Creek, done a, done a great job. I always do. I mean, I always. Oh, yeah. And just tickle death every time we uh, are with them. Call Sister Pam and 859 314 1903. And they'll get in, tell you whatever you need to know, and book them or whatever. And we, we just appreciate them. Got a few more pledges here, and we'll get through these right quick. Elbert Belt from Pittsburgh, 25. Miss Cavanaugh from Madison, 25. Request prayer. Ernie uh, G G Gallant, I guess is maybe. Mary Alice White from Montgomery, $100 in honor of Dove Creek. William Cox from Whitley, $50. Wendell and Connie Wilson from Greenup, $100 in honor of Wayne House. Thank you all. Walter and Joyce Dow from Lincoln, $100. Nancy Elliott from Plasky, $25 in memory of her parents. Diane Doyle from Bath, $5 in honor of her husband, Freddie. Anna Boggs from Bath, $100. Jess Sears from Lincoln, $50 in honor of Dove Creek. Ruby T Tussle, Trussell from Bourbon, $10. Birthday is Sunday, she will be 82. William Noe from Rocco, $100 in memory of her husband. Guy and Barbara Reynolds from Elliott, $50. Anna Taylor from Pike, $20 in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kay and Frank Turner from Bourbon, $200 in honor of Dove Creek. Glenn Sargent from Rowland, $100 to request prayer for her brother in the UK hospital. And I think Brother Dave and Sister Edith got some prayer requests. We're going to read a few of these and then we'll pray. Brother yes, Dave. These names have come in. Gina from Estill County has a brain tumor. Needs the Lord to move in a mighty way. Gina, we're believing tonight. Bev from Montgomery County, cancer, needs a miracle. Eddie from Fayette County, pancreatitis. Lee from Lee County, smothering real bad, has high temperature, taken to the hospital. And you know Jesus not only died for our sins, He died for our healing. Yes. With yes, His stripes, did. we are healed. Somebody yes, claim that. Yes, amen. amen. Hallelujah. We've got a lot of prayer requests and we've looked through them and we just don't have time to read them all. But I want you to know that one of us have read through every one of these prayer requests. And, and, but we don't need to know anyway because we're going before a God that's going to take yes, care sir. of it for you. So we're only his uh, vessels that he's using here yes. while, while he tarries coming for us. But we got, we, yeah, go on. I didn't mean yeah. um, We yeah. got a, two here. We want to put in these and we're going to pray. Ronnie England from over in Clay County. and. And we want you to pray for Ronnie, and uh, he's facing some health issues. And Inez Smith needs to touch from the Lord, so remember these. So, Dave, eat if you would. Let's join together and let's pray for these. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for this opportunity to come before you. Lord, we come before the mighty throne of heaven tonight, and we just pray that, God, you look down, as the brother said, you, you have healing in your hands tonight, and we pray for that. We know that there's many, many more that's out there that's afflicted that didn't call in. Lord, and we pray for them also. And most of all, we pray for them that are lost and undone. I know the greatest need in anyone's life is that need of salvation. I thank you, Lord, for, for the love you give us, Lord. I thank you for the mercy and grace that you bestow upon each and every soul that will claim it. Bless every heart, every life, every need tonight, Lord. Your will be done, Lord. Help us to be obedient be followers of, of, of you. And we will bow our head and we'll praise you and honor you. And thank you, Lord, for your mercy and grace. In the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord, and our Savior, we pray. And amen. And amen. Amen. So we've got $62,725, and um, we're going to keep on going on. Be back tomorrow night. We're looking for the Lord to bless. Be back next week. 
another week in the uh, telethon and it's a good time but it's a busy time and uh, Edith will tell you that she's been doing this a lot longer than me and it's a uh, it's exciting <laughs> it to, know, to be a part of the Lord's work and uh, yeah, to yeah, know the Lord right. huh? it is an exciting time and I don't claim it as a chore to you. No, I claim it as an honor and humble to be. It a is to get over here. Yeah, it, it's you know, I rushed all day and, and it worries you out. But once you get here, it's like church. You, you know, Brother Dave will tell you, you you may feel tarred, not feel good, and you go to church and, and you'll leave feeling yeah. good. Yeah. And uh, so that's the Lord's it's way of doing things. So, God but we is. love you, and appreciate you, and to be yes. somebody else back tomorrow night and another group and keep praying for this station. Uh, good season. Brother Dave's been talking about, you know, Easter yeah. season. Yes. I don't really know if that's the right way to put it, but uh, today they call it Good Friday, and, uh, you know, and then Sunday's the, the, that's the good day. Amen. I mean, this was a, when the Lord died was a sad time because yeah. he done it for us. Amen. But uh, the resurrection, Paul said if we, uh, you know, if without the resurrection we're still lost, we're still in our sins. That's right. And he said without that hope, uh, you know, we, we have nothing. That's so. Right. I'm, I'm glad I'm going to have a new body one Amen. day. So Hallelujah. praise the Lord yes. for that. You know, that's that's a, so get up on Sunday morning, go to church. Yeah. We've got sunrise service and a lot of churches does and, and get up, go to church that morning and, and, and yeah. worship the Lord. I, I say a lot of people goes on Easter and Christmas, don't go any other time. I'm just glad they go. Yeah, if that's, uh, I'm just glad. Yeah, I will not talk about you if you want to come. So. Just Don't glad you, you yeah. Well, we're just glad to see you get up and go, and go yeah, to the Lord's house. Right. So, so get up, go to church. Been good to be Brother Dave Hamlin's yes. tonight. <laughs> First time I've met him and Enjoy seen him on TV here. Yeah, so, been good to be with him, Sister Edith. Always good to be with her. Can Appreciate I just say something. Our program uh, now is six thirty on Thursday nights. Thursday night. We were nine thirty, but we've moved it to six thirty. A lot of people have called and wonder when you're on or did we go off. But it is 6.30 on Thursday night, so please tune in to the Winning Life program. Amen. Thank you. Amen. No, we'll, we'll mention that again tomorrow night if we can remember it. So, But we've got 30 seconds left. Listen, we love you. Tune in tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. There'll be somebody else back here, and uh, I'm just uh, carrying on. So tonight from uh, here in Beattyville, on behalf of Brother Dave and Sister Edith, we bid you good night, and may God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.